Hi guys, I hope you are all doing well. Let's see today's question. So today's question, we are taking this up from the topic of indefinite integration. And if I talk about the question which is given to us here from this topic, the question tells us to find the integral of a value of a function that says x over 2 to the power x plus 2 over x to the power x. And it is having a product with another function that is log of e x over 2 to the base e dx. And if I talk about the answer choices that are given to us here, it says the first option being x over 2 to the power x plus 2 over x to the power x plus c. Second answer choice x over 2 to the power x minus 2 over x to the power x plus c. The third answer choice being here x over 2 to the power x log of 2 over x to the base 2 plus c and the last answer choice i can see here it's none of them so we need to figure out which one of the answer choice is the correct answer for the question given to us here so first idea if i use here i can write my function f of x as e raised to log of f of x to the base e so if i just use that idea first for my expression, I can write my integral i as x over 2 to the power x. I can just write that as e raised to log of x over 2 to the power x to the base e plus e raised to log of 2 over x to the power x to the base e and multiplying it with another function that is log of e x over 2 to the base e. So we have this entire thing with dx. Now, once I have this entire thing, I can just write that as integral of e raised to log of a raised to b. I can just write as b log a plus e raised to x log of 2 over x to the base e and the other part as log of e x over 2 to the base e dx. So we get this entire thing. Now, let's try to further simplify this idea. I can write that as log of a over b as log of a minus log of b plus here also i can write that as x log of a minus log of b and log of e x to the big e x over 2 to the base e dx so i have this entire thing with me now let's try to further solve this so i get this integral e raised to x log x minus x log 2 plus e raised to x log 2 to the base e minus x log x to the base e and the other part of that same function is log of e x over 2 to the base e dx. Now what I understand from here is if I try to let's say substitute this part as t. So if I put x log x to the base e minus x log 2 to the base e equals to t. I understand this part. It's just negative of that entire function which we have put that as t. So if I just take out minus common, it becomes x log 2 to the base e minus x log to the base x equals to t. So from here I get x log to the 2 to the base e minus x log x to the base e equals minus t. So I have put this entire thing as t and from here I get this part of the function as minus t. And now if I try to derivate it, let's differentiate this entire function which we have put that as t. So if I differentiate this with respect to x, I get x into 1 over x plus log x to the base e into derivative of x which is 1 minus x again the derivative of that is again 1 and log 2 this entire thing with dx is equal to dt and once i get this what i get here is x and x gets cancelled you get 1 plus log x minus log 2 dx equals dt 
Now, once I have one, I can just write that as log e to the base e. So log e to the base e plus log x minus log 2 dx equals dt. So from here, I get log of ex because log a plus log b is log of a into b minus log 2 dx equals dt. So from here, you get log a minus log b, which is log of a over b dx equals dt. So you have this entire thing. Now, if you see log of ex over 2 to the base e dx, I'm just writing that as dt. So you get the integral as e raised to t plus e raised to minus t and that entire part of the function with dx, just I write that as dt. So that gives me integral of e raised to t dt plus integral of e raised to minus t dt. And further, if I write this, I can just write that as we know e raised to t is nothing but e raised to t only. Plus here I get e raised to minus t and minus 1. Dividing it by the coefficient of that t that is basically minus 1. So we should not multiply this minus 1. We should divide this by minus 1. So you get e raised to minus t over minus 1 plus c. So that is your entire thing you get here. Now. Once you have that, if I just again resubstitute this idea, I got this as e raised to t minus e raised to minus t plus c. Now, if I just resubstitute, I got t as x log x minus x log 2 plus e raised to minus t. We know again it's x log 2 minus x log x. So instead of plus, we have minus here. So let's put that minus sign. So we get that as minus plus C. So from here I get E raised to, this becomes X common. So it becomes log of X over 2. And here I get X log of 2 over X plus C. So you get X raised to log of X over 2 to the power X minus X raised to log of 2 over X to the power X plus C. And from here you get X over 2 raised to X minus 2 over X raised to X plus C. So now if I just see the answer choice which matches with the answer that we have got for the integral, it matches with option B and B becomes the correct answer for the question given to us. I hope you have understood how to solve this type of questions. So first using the idea of logarithms, I converted my function to e raised to logarithm of that function. Then I further solve it and put this as t. So the other part becomes minus t. And once I solve that, I got this entire function with the x turning out to become dt. So then I just applied the idea of integral. And once I applied that idea, that gave me the answer for the question as option b. So b becomes a correct answer here. I hope you have understood how to solve this. I'll see you again tomorrow with some other question from some other topic. And we are going to continue our series of questions on JWE mains. So stay tuned for more videos to roll out. Also, if you're enjoying those videos that we are doing every day, please do like the videos as well and do support the channel. Also, share these videos with your friends and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.